Nancy Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and comparisons on the brand new Victoria Beckham Posh lipsticks. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details about these new lipsticks from Victoria Beckham, how they look on a light to medium skin tone, arm swatches and lip swatches, then just keep on watching. You knew that I was gonna get these lipsticks. You know that I'm a lipstick lover, and I mentioned to you on a couple Will I Buy videos that I was really looking forward for this lunch, and my order just arrived. Here it is, the beautiful canvas bag of that Victoria Beckham Beauty Posh lipsticks. I have them right here. I'm super excited to be doing this video. I have been enjoying her brand so much. Today, for example, I will be leaving everything, every single detail on the description box below for your convenience. But for example, I'm wearing this primer right here that I just absolutely love. It makes me feel flawless and it's just so nice for the skin. Also, I'm wearing her Smoky Eye Brick in Silk. This is such a beauty. I'm like, this is a gorgeous palette right here. It's just so beautiful. I mean, I love her packaging. I love her design. I love the simplicity of it. And also, I love that her brand is a clean beauty brand. And I just, I don't know, I just vibe with that. And it's a luxury brand. Like everything from the packaging, absolutely everything. And this one is what I'm using right in the middle of my eyelids right here. This is her kind of like an eyeshadow topper and this one is in blondie. I don't know, I just feel like she's going the right direction. She's not launching too many products at the same time. She's just going a little bit slow. So believe me, when I saw the lipsticks, it's like, okay, okay, <laughs> you're calling me right now. Okay, my friends, so let me tell you a little bit about these lipsticks. The lipsticks are made in Italy. They cost $38 a piece, and she has launched a total of nine different shades. Each shade of posh lipstick recalls on the Victoria Beckham Personal Memories, a wearable wardrobe of nudes, pinks, berries, and a pop of red. Posh lipstick has a nod to the 90s with an eye on the future. The lipsticks, they come with two grams of product, which is not, I mean, like, it, it's a good amount, but regular lipsticks say perhaps like something like, for example, the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These are the ones that she just came out for the holidays. I did a full on review on these lipsticks right here. This one actually comes, I have the box right here with 3.5 grams of product. So almost double and I think it's worth $34 or $38, I don't remember, but something along those lines. So we see a little bit, I mean like, she, Victoria Beckham, she's branding her line as true luxury. So, I mean, work close by, and I love products made in Italy too, so I have high expectations for these brands. So let me just show to you how they come. So I have here the shade Spice, and let me just show you the box close, and then you will find the name of your lipstick right over here. Just take a peek at it. Oh my gosh, the packaging! <laughs> the packaging so sleek, elegant, simple, and it's weighty. And because it's a clean beauty brand, she doesn't use magnets, she usually uses like even on her eyeshadow bricks. It's a clasp closure. So these ones right here are kind of the same idea. Now they are really nice and tight. There you go. But yeah, let me just show it to you. Here we go. So this one right here is the shade Spice, which is a mid-tone ginger. Give a swatch right here on my arm. Now 
Now this is a vegan beauty brand, it's gluten free and also soy free. And by the way, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I actually film in natural light, so I have a big window right here and another big window on that side over there. So hopefully this will give you the best representation. Also all my foundation matches, they will be on the description box below so that I can serve you as a reference on how these lipsticks may look on you if we have similar skin tone I'm in the light to medium spectrum so let's just start with this shade I don't feel like it has any scent now this shade right here it is my perfect kind of nude I mean it just looks so beautiful mm. it's very creamy very very nourishing too such a beautiful shade a perfect nude next let's go to the shade pout pout is described as a pale coral pink Now let's go into the shade Sway. Sway is described as a mid-tone berry pink. This is such a beautiful, subtle pink shade. And you know what? I find it to be very, for me not pink, it's very neutral. It's not cool tone and it's not warm tone. I mean, it's a true, beautiful pink. Very elegant too. Okay, my friends, now that I have you here, I wanna go into comparisons with other lipsticks that I have on my collection. Believe me, I have a ton and I have just gone through so many swatches trying to find something close to them. First, I'm going to go with the shade Spice. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of like her most popular ones because, you know, Spice Girls. So for that, the closest shade that I found is from Charlotte Tilbury in Hepburn Honey. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here. As you can tell, the ones from Victoria Beckham, they do not have full opacity. You have to build the opacity of those lipsticks. But as far as undertone goes, they are, they are fairly close. Now let's go with Pout. And I'm building it a little so you can really see the shade. And I'm gonna compare it to Shantikai in Acacia. And this is Elite Bell from their recent fall collection. Just gonna put it under here. That's the shade Acacia. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, the shade Dance Floor Princess. And then let's go with the shade Sway. And from House of Siash, I'm gonna compare it to the shade Night. And last but not least, I wanna just swatch Pillow Talk because I know Pillow Talk is kind of like the revolution <laughs> for Charlotte Tilbury in the lipstick world. A lot of people, they are really drawn to Pillow Talk, the original. So although to me, they don't match to any of these shades, I'm just gonna put it perhaps right here in the middle 
so you can kind of have a reference I mean if so perhaps close to the shape and here you go here are all the comparisons okay my friends and now that we are done with the comparisons lip and arm swatches I want to give you my final thoughts and feedback about these new lipsticks from Victoria Beckham so okay let's just start first okay oh something that I forgot to mention not too long ago maybe like three or four days ago I just reviewed that super lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury these are not new formulas these are just a new shade for her line new shades for the holidays so if you're wondering how do they compare honestly I have swatched them on my arm there's no comparisons they are very different undertones I will suggest you to go and check out that video but I promise you there's I mean there's nothing I like between the lipsticks that I tried today from Victoria Beckham to these ones right here so I just want to get that out of the door because I know holiday is here and you may be like okay which one should I pick so what about if we first go into the actual formulation of the lipsticks these lipsticks they do have avocado oil coconut oil they also have mica in it and the way that they feel they feel very thin comfortable on the lips they don't feel thick now because of that formulation and because of all those emollients they feel nourishing but they feel very lightweight and you can build on the lipstick so you can go one swipe and just have kind of like a little veil on your lips or you can build on the pigmentation they don't have full opacity if you want to have full opacity then I will recommend perhaps pairing it with a lip liner underneath and then go over with it and because of the formula I'm so sure that they um, they are going to transfer you are going to have to reapply them I mean all of that but the comfort is in there if I was to compare these lipsticks with other lipsticks from my collection I will say the formula is very very alike to the Shantekai lip bells where they are again not you will not find full pigmentation you will have to swipe it a couple times but your lips feel very comfortable very like hydrated I mean you feel a level of moisture on your lips that is just so lovely they do have a beautiful sheen I mean like they they look you know they look plump they look healthy they look I mean it's, it's not your typical satin lipstick these have a beautiful juicy feeling kind of like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss that's why I said you know the closest in formulation if you like the Shantekai lipsticks this is how they feel exactly this way they don't I mean any of the ones that I try they are not really settling much on my fine lines they don't feel like they are you know cracking or emphasizing you know the fine lines that we all have on our lips nothing like that another formula that is kind of like close is that Chanel Rouge Coco Flash so kind of like a hybrid between those two right there and then as far as how nourishing they feel it's kind of like house of siage you know that i have been raving about this lipstick right here because they they make your lips look more plump now the ones from house of siage they are satin but they are more opaque they have a lot more pigment in it they have more opacity too so then like i said it's just kind of like in between these two and then the nourishment from this one right here something along those lines i hope that description helps you right there and then as far as the color selection i know i only got three today and the reason why I did that is because it happened to be that Victoria Beckham launched her lipsticks at the same time as Lisa Elridge. And we know with Lisa is a little bit different because Lisa, she launches her lipsticks one time and then when they are gone, they are gone. So I was like, okay, I'm making a huge purchase right here and another huge purchase right here, all on lipsticks. I mean, it was about $400 total if I was gonna grab everything or even more than that. So I decided already, I'm just gonna Gonna go ahead and purchase everything from Lisa because I know this is one time a year and then let me try Victoria Beckham and if I like them I will keep buying more which I'm gonna be buying more because I will have to tell you these are beautiful now you may be wondering what about the Hermes lipsticks that you have been loving okay these 
Uh, these are lighter weight than the Hermes. I love the Hermes too, but these ones, I mean like these are just different and they even have a little bit more shine to them. And if you're wondering if these lipsticks are close to say a Tom Ford lipstick or a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, no, they are, I mean, Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury, they are creamy, but they have a lot more pigmentation. They don't feel heavy, but they just have more pigment in it. This one, the one from Victoria Beckham, it does have those coconut oil, avocado oil that you feel that emollient feel it on your lips. I mean, they don't feel oily, but you feel just, you know, they are just a little bit more emollient than say Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury. And then as far as the shade selection goes, I mean, I really, like I said, I'm gonna be buying more of these lipsticks. I'm just in love with the formulation. I really love that she takes the approach of inspiring herself into the 90s. I'm a girl of the 90s, and I think some of the best lipstick combinations happen in the 90s, and that's why there's so much of the 90s coming back right now. And I just think it's spot on, and I have been enjoying very much all the makeup that I have been trying from her. I hope to see perhaps next some lashes or some bronzers and I really love that she's going slow and she's not throwing so many things at us. I mean, she's really going through a phase of really what it seems like investigating on how to make a really nice product before putting it in the market and I appreciate that take from her. And then as far as the packaging goes, I mean, once again, very sleek, elegant, sophisticated. I mean, like taking these out of your purse and these cups, <laughs> There's a tag right here. They are just hard to open. Some people may not like it, but I appreciate it because say if you're putting it in your purse, the cup is not gonna go anywhere. I mean, you, these are the click on couple cups, so I like it. I personally enjoy it that way, and I think it's just environmentally friendly. That's something really important to note about the brand. So my friends, this is another winner of my books. I'm sure I'm gonna be collecting more of the Victoria Beckham Bosch lipsticks because they are just so wonderful. I would love to know from you, have you gotten any of these lipsticks? Which shades you have gotten? Are you liking them? What do you feel about them? I mean, I just wanna know everything about it. And um, while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell, because believe me, you don't wanna miss any of my uploads here on this channel. You will find great content from new makeup releases all about the beauty news and much much more also it will be lovely if we can stay connected and come and follow me on my Instagram right there I post images close-up images of every single product that I try and much more if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up it's very important share it with family and friends share it on your Instagram too so that way our family can grow Thank you so much again for watching and until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.